The Girl Who Played With Fire, Swedish Original, short movie review. Lisbeth Salander has gone off the map for a few years, and no one has been in contact with her for at least a full year since the events of The Girl Who Played With Fire. However, she meets back up with the legal guardian, and soon after, he and others turn up dead, and there are some pretty strong indications that it was Salander who killed them. Blomqvist, of course, does not believe this, and he goes about trying to discover who the real culprit is. The theme of men hating women and men of authority abusing their power to hurt women is again explored this time through a human trafficking ring who smuggle Eastern European women to use as prostitutes. And this is a decent enough idea, a good continuation of the first, although it doesn't feel as well explored as the first. The mystery is a bit more simple and, excuse me, less compelling, but it is still interesting enough. The characters, however, are not particularly interesting and do not really stand out. The acting is still strong, as is the score. The film tries to be a bit more of an action film at points than the first was, and it really doesn't fit. There's a henchman, I'm going to refer to him as Blondie, who they really try to make into a badass, and it just really doesn't fit. He is not entirely unlike the, the Russian from the 2004 Punisher movie, and this just does not at all fit in a movie that is otherwise very realistic, credible, and gritty. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.